Almost a month has passed since tropical cyclone Lolo ripped through Vanuatu at gusts peaking around 300 kilometers per hour. Food has arrived in affected areas and the environment is starting to make a comeback. With Lola arriving before cyclone season, everyone's main concern is now when the next one will come, as Caleb Fotheringham reports. A teacher on Pentecost Island in Vanuatu, which was one of the hardest hit by Lola, says the environment is slowly starting to recover. Andrew Gray says aid has removed a lot of the stress around food, and most have managed crude fixes to their homes. Food aid is starting to be distributed to people whose gardens have been wrecked. The landscape is slowly changing colour. It hit sort of peak brownness about a week after the cyclone when all the smashed vegetation had decayed and withered and now it's very slowly starting to turn green again. The biggest concern is now for the next one. Vanuatu has been battered by three cyclones in the past eight months, all at or surpassing Category 4 strength. Lola arrived before the official season even started. Almost every time dark clouds gather, people are sort of rushing to sort of find someone with um, data on their phone to check the weather forecast. Uh, is this the next cyclone? Mr Gray says people are now planning for the future, questioning if what they build will endure. Chief of Vanuatu's UNICEF field office, Eric Dupier, says the repetition is affecting children's development. More they are sick, more they are weak, less they are able to recover, and that's really impact the future of their life with a uh, capacity uh, development. So today that's really, really the concern is the repetition of the cyclone, the lack of time to recover. Thousands of Vanuatu school students had their education disrupted. Mr Gray says his school, Ranwadi College, returned for only two weeks, except for seniors who have their exams. He says students are upset especially because the end of your graduation ceremony will be far smaller. It's a really big event in students' lives. Their families come and quite a lot of these students are the first generation of their families to complete high school. So it's quite a big deal for them. And that has had to be drastically scaled back. The chapel is half damaged and food supplies are enough for people to eat at home, but not adequate for a big public feast. Mr Gray says every school has done what's best suited them, depending on the damage they received.